The ground is shaking. Oh, crap! The ground is shaking! That means the trolls are attacking! Oh, gods! Oh, no! This is really bad. Okay, uh, well, now's a good time to try out the new iron armor and weapons that I've crafted uh, and see if we can fend this off. Oh, god, they're already through the walls. Can we handle two trolls? I don't know about that. Quickly put this on. Quickly, quickly, if you please. Okay, we're about to find out if we can do this. How about you, boy? Ha-ha! <laughs> and block! Okay, this is going well. Wait! I forgot to eat food! No! Oh! We're just gonna pretend that did not happen. Hello, everybody. My name is Provis. Welcome back to Valheim. Back in our base after having to repair all of the damage. Thank you, trolls. You are incredibly fun. All right, so I did spend a lot of time in between videos just smelting up all of the iron that we gathered from the last episode, and it actually was able to craft quite a bit. We got a full set of armor. We got some iron weapon and tools, better shield, better bow, all looking great. Even we had enough to upgrade my armor just once, but not enough leftover bars, unfortunately, to craft anything else of consequence, including a bigger longboat, which maybe I should have prioritized, but I did not. Oh, well. I do think we're going to need to get ourselves some more of the iron scraps in a bit, but for now, I did promise we were going to try going to a mountain using this frost resistance mead and see if there's anything really exciting to explore off in that direction. I did spend a bit of time while waiting for all the iron to process, exploring several of the islands. This took a good long while. Found the area with the bone mass, nice big swamp biome over here, massive swamp biome. Also something called the plains, which I just noped the heck right away from there because, uh, <laughs> I've seen enough memes about the planes to know that that is not going to go well for me, thank you very much. So, didn't want anything to do with any of that. Alright, here we are. Wow, it's bright. Very pretty, though. Let's see what we can find up on this little mountain. There's a deer. Okay, that's not a big deal. There's the freezing buff I was talking about. So we're going to drink the potion, and boom. Okay, seems like we are in pretty good shape there. No longer suffering any ill effects. I do like that. Are there any, like special ores or anything that I should be looking for up here? Maybe new monsters? Ooh, I bet you there is. Oh, there's something. Is that a wolf? I think it might indeed be a wolf. Can we shoot said wolf? Let's find out. Yoink and doink. Wow, that was a pretty good shot. Okay, wolves don't seem to be all that dangerous, though I'll bet you they're real freaking aggressive. So we probably don't want to get swarmed by a pack of those. Maybe. Wolf pelt dragon bed? Wolf fangs? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all that, but that seems pretty nice. Okay, but aside from, uh, freaking wolves, is there anything else up here? Whoa! Okay! Um, huh. Turns out that a level one wolf with a buddy can absolutely wreck. Crap! Well, lessons learned, I guess. Wolves should not be underestimated. Um, they have really fast attack speed, apparently, which, wow, <laughs> wrecked me. But you know what? You gotta die at least once in every biome, right? That's how you learn. That's how you learn your lessons the hard way, I guess. This mountain doesn't really look that much taller than the other one, so I'm not sure if there's anything more to find. I mean, maybe there is. I don't know. I'm just watching to see if there's anything exciting. You know, it would really suck if it turns out there's, like, frost giants in the game or something, you know? Now, that comes from Norse mythology, so I actually could could be correct on that. It may be true. Obsidian deposit. Well, hang on. That's something different. Is there anything around that I should be afraid of if I make noise? I don't see anything. Uh, okay. Let's see what obsidian does. I am curious. Obsidian arrows, poison arrows, tool shelf. A tool shelf? Well, that sounds pretty helpful. Poison arrows? I mean, I could like that. I don't know. That, that sounds pretty awesome. So maybe obsidian only spawns at a certain elevation? Hey, there's a house up here. Whoa, whoa what is that? Is that a freaking dragon? Uh, oh, there's a couple of them. Okay, you know what I was saying about freaking scariness? Um, yup, yoink! Drakes. Oh god, this is bad, ain't it? Okay, it shoots ice. That's good, that's good. Um. Come on. We can hit you. We can hit you. Stay still for a second. Gotcha! <laughs> we killed a dragon! Sven has truly become mighty indeed. Freeze gland. What the frick am I supposed to do with the freeze gland? What is down there? Is that... Is that an... There's something purple and round. Is it an egg? You don't suppose there are dragon eggs in the game, are there? 
Oh god, there might be. Oh, okay, okay. Watch out for the drakes. Really not in the mood to get murdered by drakes. Holy crap, looks like if you can get a sneak attack on them, you can one-shot those fools. What's in this house? Oh, frost arrows. Yes, please, me take. Uh, we don't care about you, we don't care about you. Probably don't care about you. I'm gonna take the amber, and we're gonna go find out what the heck is down here. Also grab these freeze glands, because that seems, that seems pretty good. Um... Is there, like, a Mama Drake somewhere we need to be afraid of? God, I hope there's not a Mother Dragon somewhere if I grab this egg. I want to know what this thing does, though. All right, Dragon Egg, pick up. Yes, I'm- it's heavy. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, my God, it's so heavy. 200! And it can't be teleported. Whoa, dude. Okay, hang on. Forget this, forget this, and now we can carry it. We don't need wood! I can get wood anywhere! I can only get dragon eggs a couple of times. Jeez! What do we do with it? Oh good, the watcher's at my home. What, do you want the dragon egg too? No, he does not. Okay, cool. Well, that was a fun little trip. I'm not sure if we got anything out of the mountains that... What are you doing to my crops? Hey, 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 what are you doing to my crops? I'm not sure we got anything out of that trip that'll end up making a really big difference against the next boss. Um... But, it was certainly cool to do. Did you just destroy a load of my turnips and carrots? I think you did. You, sir, are a right jerk, and I hate you. Let's take a quick look at those obsidian arrows, though. So, for the most part, I've been using flint head arrows. We did discover some iron arrows uh, in the caves, but I don't think I'm going to waste any of my materials getting those. Obsidian arrows do twice the damage. Oh, wow. We've got a pretty good amount of obsidian, too. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, if it weren't for the fact that I'm pretty sure that the next boss uh, is resistant to pierce damage because it's a skeleton, I would say that's amazing. But because it is resistant, I don't think that does me a lot of good. What I need to get is the iron mace. I have been told and confirmed that an iron mace is basically a necessity for the next boss because it's kind of the only thing it's really weak to. So I have to go and get some more iron. I'm not going to bother with the obsidian arrows now, but that might be really helpful later. Oh, also I did manage to brew up some medium healing mead, which I think will function like a basic health potion. There we go. So it increases my health by 75. So it's just literally more health from about to die. Good, okay, that could be helpful. All right, we're gonna head back into the swamp and look for more iron. One of the things that I really would like to build today is the stone cutter, because I want to find out what is involved in this. I'll bet you it unlocks a new type of crafting material just for generic structures, namely in the form of stone, which is probably gonna be really good for fortifications as well as just structural integrity, so. Let's see if we can find some more iron. That's clearly what we are missing the most right now. Head back out to those swamps. I didn't see any more crypts, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. We must find them and plunder them all. And if there's nothing over here, well, the good news is there's another swamp right across and I still have a spare boat. Or did I? Wait, where'd my spare boat go? <gasps> they destroyed my spare boat! Nah, it's fine. We'll get all the materials back and build it again. Either way, we'll find something though. You know, we never did check out what these flame geyser things are. What are those? Little fire demons? They're certlings. Ah! Then they throw fire. Okay. Um, hmm. Not sure what to make of these little guys. How weak are you to arrows? Answer, very. Very weak to arrows indeed. Well, good. So we shouldn't have much trouble in killing all of them then. Um, do they drop certling cores? Because this could be a really good way of... Yeah, they do indeed. Okay, and coal. Ooh. Very good way of farming up some extra uh, certling cores if we need them without having to find more burial chambers. I like that. Don't think I can destroy this, though, whatever it is. Hey, look, a crypt! Of course, I just realized I didn't bring my swamp key. Gosh dang it. I really need to just, like, put this on a tool belt or something. That would be nice. By the way, I don't think there's any point in holding on to bone fragments. As far as I can tell, they're only good for the uh, crafting of troll armor. Which, I mean, I, I guess we could still upgrade our cape, but beyond that, meh. And there's probably better options in the future anyway, so... Yeah, nothing really to do with bone shards, except for taking up your inventory. We'll probably have to get rid of all of those at some point. Okay, there's at least two more crypts for me to explore that I can see immediately. Maybe a third? I don't imagine this is going to be very different from what we've already seen, except... Now I have better armor, and a better pickaxe which means I should be able to clear this area out a little bit easier than before, and 
I have a lot more carrying capacity, which is going to be lovely. So, gonna clear these out, get some more iron, and let's see what our spoils will be. Okay, so we finished up two more crypts and got roughly the same amount of iron as before. It seems like on average you can expect about 75 uh, scrap iron per crypt. Uh, assuming you get some chests full of this stuff, which, you know, as luck would have it, I did. So we have enough certainly to make another trip on the boat. That's good. I think we actually can just take all of it right now, even if I am encumbered. It doesn't matter too much. Um... And as long as we can make the trek back home via boat, which will take a while, as usual, we should be okay. Oh, gosh, dang it. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Just toss the iron over. It'll be fine. Toss the iron. There we go. <laughs> we'll get back to it. Okay. Uh, that should be more than enough iron for everything else that I could possibly need at this stage of the game, I would think. We should be able to craft up... Our last tools, we should be able to get a bigger longboat. We should be able to even upgrade my weapons and armor at least a little bit. So, I feel pretty good about this. Does this mean the end of the swamps so and we actually should be going for the bone mass? Actually, it might. Oh, not a blobbo. No, blobbo, no. I am aware, by the way, that there is a slightly cheatier way of transporting your iron back to the main base. Uh, it basically takes advantage of the fact that your character retains their entire inventory whenever they transfer servers. So what you could do in your first server is mine out all the scrap iron and then get up toward the portal and then log out. Go to a second server right next to a chest where you just spawn, you know, right there with the chest. You put the iron in the chest, then you log back out of the second server. Go back to the first server, portal through to your base, log out of that server. Go back to the second server, pick up the iron, log out, go back to the first server, and boom. It's way, way, way faster than doing the, uh, the whole shipping method. But I gotta say, it's not fun. That's not a fun way to play the game. You're supposed to have a certain element of risk whenever you are, uh, whenever you're taking the boat, you know? It's, it's what makes the game interesting. It's why, it's why I think the developers should not make it so that metals can go through portals. It's the only reason I would even bother with the ship, to be honest. Once I discovered the islands that I care about and I placed down some portals, why would I ever use a ship again? And that kind of defeats the purpose of being a Viking. So, yeah. I mean, I know the method exists. I don't intend to use it. I don't recommend anyone else to do either. It just spoils the game. I will say, though, in my opinion, one very effective method of transporting a little faster that's not cheating is once you actually get back to your destination in your home, go ahead and dismantle the boat once you're done with it. Just dismantle the darn thing and take all the materials, go back through the portal and rebuild it on the other side. It at least saves you one of the trips, but without completely gaming the system by server hopping. Okay, the last of the iron is being delivered. I'm gonna have to stoke the kilns and the furnaces night and day, but all we have really to do is sit back and wait for this iron to process. And that's gonna take a while. While that's going on, something I might do is try to sail off to the bone mass area I already explored and set up a portal nearby. Um, maybe down over here in this safe-ish black forest, certainly not in the swamp itself, and God, not the plains. I've just seen too many memes to know that that's a terrible idea. But set up a nice little portal somewhere out over here, so that when we have all the iron ready to go, we can challenge the bone mass. Oh, but before we do that, I did say that I wanted to place down a stone cutter, didn't I? So it's a nice little shack kind of thing that I built off over here, which... Apparently isn't good enough, really? This thing's huge? Oh, good lord. Hang on. There we go. Much better. Nice and sheltered. Okay, we have sharpening stone hearth, some sort of lid thing, some walls, pillars, stone arch, stairs, paved road, and some stone flooring. Oh, all of that seems nice. It looks like the only thing that I can actually craft the stone cutter itself, though, is a sharpening stone, which I guess I'll go ahead and make one, because I can. That makes a grinding wheel, which actually I would imagine is an upgrade for the forge. Um, there it is right there, and yes, that is exactly what it is. Okay. Well, I suppose we could go ahead and place one of these things down, too. All right, cool. Well, we can start building stone structures now. Exciting, but we have to be near a stone cutter to do it. Less exciting. Okay, we finally were able to smelt all of that up. That took a good long while, but I do think building up two kilns and smelters was one of the best choices I've ever made. <laughs> otherwise, that would have taken for freaking ever. 
Anyway, all right, so we got a lot more iron, and I did spend some of that making a few upgrades. Still got about 72 bars left if I need them. But we did uh, upgrade all of my iron armor to level 3, built up an iron mace and upgraded that to level 2. Probably could upgrade it again, not sure if I need it. Same with the buckler. I just kind of loathe to spend all my iron if it turns out we don't need some of it. But this should give me a lot more defense. 56 armor right now for some good survivability. So I feel like we're in a pretty decent spot. Also crafted up the iron nails that I would need to build a longship eventually, but I'm probably not going to do that right away. We did also build up a structure around the bone mass, and what I did was I actually got rid of the portal by the Elder, because I don't think we're ever going to fight that guy again. And instead, uh, I did set up a portal right over here, where we will be able to teleport in a safe-ish area around the bone mass. I say safe-ish, nothing's ever really safe around the Black Forest and with the swamp, so... In that immediate area, I built up a quick little small palisade around the portal, and my hope is, by breaking the line of sight, for the mobs, maybe they will not destroy the portal, because nothing would suck more than to be fighting the bone mass, die, try to run back and find out that my portal got destroyed, right? That would just, that would just suck in every possible way. All right, let's go ahead and eat some of this food, including the nice little turnip stew. Whoa, we flooded. Ah, and including the nice little turnip stew that I did make. Um, I don't really relish the idea of fighting the bone mass during a major storm like this. I, I guess we could, but I, I think I'd really prefer not to do that, so... Uh, let's go and inspect the area around the bone mass. Notice I did place some workbenches around here to try and prevent spawns around the portal. Just a little extra measure of security, though probably not a good permanent solution. I want to find out, first off, whether they do indeed need any uh, withered bones to spawn the boss. I think they do, it just would make the most sense. Let's actually find out how effective this mace is. Here comes a two-star skeleton right now. Swing, bada bada, swing! Whoa, one hit. Okay, yeah, skeletons are weak to maces. Um, <laughs> that works. <laughs> uh, on top of finding out for sure whether we need withered bones, I also want to kind of clear some of the brush out of the area. Because I've been finding while I'm fighting bosses, getting tripped up on the uh, terrain, like this bush right here could mean that I get one extra hit that I don't want to take. So, we're going to try to deal with some of that. Is that the thing right there? Just looks like a giant rock. Cook their remains. Yeah, that still makes me think Withered Bones is going to end up being the winner here. Any spawners? Whoa. It's not just a giant rock at all. It's a terrifying skull. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I like that. Can we level the ground around here? Is that a thing that we're able to do? Just so I don't have to, like, risk accidentally um, getting into deep water and dying? That would obviously suck. This doesn't cost me any rocks as long as I'm not raising the terrain, so if I'm kind of gradual about it, we should be able to level out this swamp at least a little bit. Which uh, should be good. It'll make it a lot easier to dodge during the fight. Okay, that's a lot better, I think. Um, are we ready for this fight? Do you think? I mean... We got poison resistance, we got health, we got some good food set up, 145, I got lots of armor. I feel like we might be about as ready for this fight as we're going to get. <sighs> I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. This might be terrible. Um, Alright, boiling death is what you're calling this? Oh, that's pretty metal. Alright, let's channel the power of Ichthia. Let's toss on... Okay, it took 10 bones. And let's get ready for a fight. Oh, boy. Alright, where's it going to be? So he's going to be over on that side. Okay. We're not going to waste stamina. We're going to be smart. The mass is moving. Oh, God. Okay. Wow. You are a gelatinous freak. You are... What the frick are you throwing? Um, oh, he spawned blobbies. Well, that's good. Okay. What are you doing now? I haven't, you know, actually taken any of my poison resistance. We should do that. Oh, hello, blob. And I'm poisoned. Whoop. Okay. Take a bit of damage there. Don't like. Um, I can't see a dang thing. He just poisoned the entire freaking area, and I'm taking a little bit of damage. Okay. Um, whoop. Okay. He does a lot of damage as well. Uh, not sure I like any of that. Let's see. Can I parry you? Can I do... I can block it at least, so that lets me do a bit of damage. Okay. He doesn't have an absolute ton of health. That's what he does when he's about to spew poison everywhere. Okay, got it, got it. We can handle this, I think. Um, as long as we remember to block like this, he's gonna throw stuff now. Which means I should probably go kill adds. Nope, he threw it into a tree and nothing happened. Well, that's good. 
Okay, we can do a bit of damage. Is he healing? I think he might be, which actually makes me angry. Bosses shouldn't be allowed to heal. It's against the rules. Against all common etiquette. This is a very good reason to have these potions, apparently. Let's go ahead and get some serious regen going. What's he gonna do? Take a little hit, he misses, so we get a couple hits in. I think he can only do about three. Okay, he's gonna puke, let's just go ahead and back off. He's gonna come after me. I think this is actually totally doable. As long as we take our time, he's gonna throw some blobs. I can kill blobs really quick, because apparently they are also weak to um, smashing attacks, which is great. You're not allowed to be here, so get out. Thank you. I think one of my biggest problems in this fight right now is that I'm wet, and that's actually reducing my stamina regen by a lot. You spawn skeletons? I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Um, well, now I'm starting to feel a little less confident all of a sudden. Yeah, being wet during this fight, this kind of sucks. And the fact that he can heal means I'm kind of on a time crunch. So I really need to be fighting him constantly but I can't regen my stamina quite as fast as I need to. Maybe I really needed some potions for that too. Speaking of potions, let's go ahead and take another one of those and just get some healing up there. He can't really hit me very well, that's the good news. He's kind of a slow derp. See, you just move out of the way of that and then boom. Right, no problem really at all. As long as I take my time, this guy is really not gonna be that bad, I don't think. See, missed. You know, I actually just realized he looks a little bit like Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> that guy actually kind of creeped me out as a child, so in a way, this is actually my worst fear. Oh god, I can get him right now if I go quick. Get him, go! Oh! Okay, the mass is no longer moving. Woo, big explosion. Big explosion, you get out of here. Woo, woo, okay. And that is the third boss down. Wow. I feel like we actually progressed through the swamp pretty quickly. Once we figured out how- Hello. God, I thought that was something else for a second. It's Hugin. Ah, that's fine. What? What is that? That's not the Watcher. What is- I don't know. I don't- It's- it's an oozer? No. It's a wraith. Oh, frick. I don't know what's going on. Hugin, what's happening? Help me! <laughs> it seems in many cases of the case where there's a wishbone. Hidden things locate silver, also buried treasure. Really? Um, what buried treasure would that be exactly? We just killed an oozer, whatever that is. What buried treasure are you talking about? Ah! Whoa! Oh! 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 You scared me! You scared me, buddy! Ooh, okay! Okay! Uh, I don't like Wraith. Wraith be scary! But Perry does the job? There we go. Frick, dude! He drops chains. Nice. Okay, we got a wishbone. Ancient bone remembers the location of many forgotten things. Buried treasure and silver. Silver, okay, and a bone mass trophy, which we could hang up, though I'm pretty sure that would just make the raids harder, and maybe I don't want to do that right now. <sighs> I'm not too sure. Either way, I'm gonna head home, because um, I need to recuperate after that fight, and I need to figure out what the heck I can do with silver and where to find it. Probably the mountains, now that I think about it. Ooh, that could be kind of good. But we'll do that next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.